as you can see those are the new mirrors and the sequential lights and these are the stock mirrors with the regular turning signal lights so today i'm going to be doing a quick video on how to well get that look the one i just ordered the carbon fiber look and the sequential turning signals as well also as it is on here so let's get to it what's going on guys and uh, like i said in today's video we're going to be replacing the regular uh, mirror caps that the, that the bmw comes with for the little uh, fin uh carbon fiber ones the m3 style i believe it is and uh it's a pretty easy uh process i already went ahead and did it on the passenger side simply because i didn't know i didn't want to mess up and i did not want to you know do a fail video and breaking up and end up breaking the mirror like most people do so uh it's a pretty easy step just a couple of screws um you know a couple of pins you got to press you know to get the cover out and a little wiggling that you might have to do since you know the new aftermarket it's well it's aftermarket right so yeah let's get to it so first things first um get your mirror all the way up as possible as you can see this one is already all the way up a trim removal to um be able to pry this the um, the mirror from the clips and uh you might want to do it carefully in case just because we do not want to break this so as you can see we got the mirror removed uh luckily we weren't able to well if we didn't break it then you just have to um get those t10 screws right there to be able to get this uh, cover off and also the turning signal all the screws out just start pulling the the little cover off also don't forget you're gonna need to be pushing those pins together there's only three of them so you can pull it out i do recommend uh loose taking that screw off so you can open this up a little more and you can get access to this and for the new one to go in well and uh i did end up breaking one of the little pins right there simply because well for some reason this one was a lot harder to take off than the passenger side then you'll just need to unplug the current turn, uh, turning signal and hook this up to the new one so once installing the new one you gotta make sure that it's uh hooked up down there into the little um areas where it's gonna need to be connected as you can see that right there goes there and uh this here goes down there line up you know gotta make sure it's all lined up in there just Get this thing to connect so you have the little seam right there all lined up and i always recommend that you test it out before you ever you put everything back together just in case there's a bad connector or something and you you know so you're gonna have to take it apart twice what i recommend is what i did on the passenger side is put in the screws first then take that off i mean then snap it on just a friendly advice make sure you put those screws back together so the turning, sig the turning signal doesn't uh, come apart once you're screwing the rest of them in. I learned that the hard way. This, it's all installed. Just gotta wipe it off a little. Now we got both sides done. And then just pop the mirror back on. And there's the driver's side. And the passenger side. Now if we lock the car. fold unlock it and there it is oof that looks badass i gotta redo the grill i might order a carbon fiber one i'm not sure yet i might just order the black one i'm definitely gonna do the little dual slot uh openings for them so we'll see oh that looks nice Pretty easy installation. Luckily, I did not break the the, the mirrors, which I fear some people do. Uh, luckily, I didn't. You know, I guess I got lucky or I kind of knew what I was doing. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Link will be in the, uh, in the description below if you're interested in buying these. I have some pictures on Instagram if so you want to check it out. So, yeah, peace out.